Okay, so here in this position in game one, Tao had played the move h3. And he criticizes himself and says that after e5, that he was uh, winning. And uh, e5 is definitely a better move here. See, the problem is, if you look at this position, is that, um, you know, white has to take control of the e5 square. played uh king f6 and now after uh king f4 of course no he just played e5 and um now tal still has chances but he made some mistakes later on now let me just show you here's tal's basic idea was after e5 f6 and now h4 <clears throat> Now king f4, and now basically he's looking forward to some type of zugzwang position for Korsnoi to enter in. And now here, after a takes b5, then Tao has a chance to create a pass pawn now, as you can see on the a file. Now g4, f takes e5, king takes e5, h takes g4. F takes, F takes, and now King goes back. And the decisive um, victory is going to come either from the H pawn or the A pawn. And now you can see that that pawn is going to serve as a decoy. The pawn on the H file is going to serve as a decoy to black. So, for instance, E5. And, you know, you just keep pushing H5, C4. Those pawns now, the black pawns, that is, become frozen over there on the queen side. King F3. Again, you you have to be careful. King F5. And then H6. And of course, this forces the king to stroll away. Okay, so E5 definitely, again... There could be deviations in there, but e5 was definitely a better chance. So Tao was right about that. However, he played h3, king f6, king f4, e5 from Korsnoi, king e3, a6, b3 from Tao, king e6, e takes f5, king takes f5, and now f3. Tao's idea is to play g4 here. So after king e6, Korsnoi wants to play f5. G4, and now F5 is played. Now, here, um, I believe, now Tao doesn't mention this, nor of course, no, but um, I believe that uh, Tao misses a win here, an easy win. When I first saw F5 played, my initial reaction was G takes H5 immediately. And I was shocked when I saw that Tao played G takes F5. And here, there's no winning chances. King takes f uh, f5, h4. And then, just by keeping the opposition, black stays safe here. Now, Tao might have misjudged this situation right here. A takes b5, king d3, and king d6. And these players agreed uh, to a draw in this first game. However, we go back to this position instead of G takes F5. Just simply G takes H5. And there's no way black can defend. I'm not going to go through all the lines, but let's just say, for instance, A5. It's King F2. It's just, a, just the same principle of using uh, the pawn as a decoy. H pawn as in the uh, analogous variation I showed you earlier with e5 eventually the black king must be drawn to the h file to try to stop the events of those pawns king f6 if king d4 just h6 and king f4 and it's plain to see that the black king must go to the h file and then he loses everything um you know on the queen side so <clears throat> Needless to say, there was some um, shaky play 
you know, as uh, Corsnoy pointed out, and um, I think part of it is just Tao not playing his his regular his normal style. He's trying to play like this positional, you know, uh, style, and um, you know, so he you know made some missteps, you know, in the technical uh, portion of the game, and then Corsnoy um, expecting you know Tao to be Tao is looking for counterattacking chances, and he also made some uh, mistakes in the game. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to conclude uh, this video here. This one has been long enough, but that's just the introduction. So, game one, uh, we have a draw, and then um, we're going to pick up on the, um, uh, the first decisive game in our next video.